Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be covering how you can create contact sensitive hot strings and also cover some of the advanced features of hot strings. If this is something that interests you, please continue watching. Alright, welcome back. Let us start with the context sensitive hunt string because that's really easy. So we'll be done with it really quickly and we'll get that out of the way before we move, move on to more advanced features of hunt strings. So let me quickly go and bring up my desktop folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go start and Windows spy in order to get the auto hockey class of this desktop window which is this I'll copy that get out and get out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create context sensitivity by if win active auto hockey class and cabinet w class which represents the windows explorer so now what I then want to do is I should need a return. What I then want to do is I'm going to make it so that if I type out auto hockey, then replace that with auto hockey. I don't have that folder, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create that folder. All right. So and turn off the contact sensitivity afterwards. Um, so if I run this script and go to my desktop or any Windows Explorer pretty much and what I've done so right now is if I go to the this little bar here where you type out the path of the directory if I type in auto hotkey that's going to be replaced as as Oh, okay, because I'm missing a two. That's interesting. Um, desktop users Juho two desktop auto hockey. I think that's why desktop auto hockey. If I run that and type auto hockey again, then this time it should work. There we go. We just access the folder that I just created. Now. <coughs> Next up is if win active and this time I'm going to go notepad and go by the way which uh, BTW which stands for by the way so I'll go by the way and if win active everywhere else I want by the way to be between. Let's just do that for demonstration purposes. So if I go ahead and run this script and type by the way in sight, I'm gonna get between. All right. If I bring up my notepad and then go by the way, I'm gonna get by the B T W. I'm gonna get by the way. All right. So that's one way of <coughs> creating a context sensitive hotkey. Now. Okay, a hot, hot string. I mean, no, that's it. That's pretty much it for contact sensitive hot string. So, now I remember in the previous video where I talked about the basics of hot strings, I've only shown you examples of hot strings running by pressing the enter key or uh, the space key where I haven't put in the star sign for in the beginning. Um, there are other ways to end the string so as to run the hot string and that is to go to hot string ending characters if I look that up what I'm gonna be getting is ending characters there we go so if I go here this command up here allows you to change the ending characters so if I go back to my script run that and put that in what it's gonna do is so these are gonna be all the ending characters and say I removed 
this one, which represented uh, a new line, which means an enter key. If I go colon, colon, and hi to be replaced with hello, if I run that and type hi and press enter, it doesn't get replaced with hello. What it does is gets replaced with hidden because IntelliSense is working. IntelliSense is all these drop down stuff that helps you code. Now let me, I have to change that to let's say buy. Hopefully buy doesn't bring down, bring up any drop down list. So if I go buy and then press enter, um, in default situation, it should give me hello, but it doesn't work because I've removed the back tick and end which represents the which represents the ending character so I can hmm well, I can add a, a custom ending character let's say this I don't know what this is called a vertical line um, this is the character that gets produced when you press shift and the backward slash now if I put that in and then go run the script again and type by and then that reproduce that vertical line that's going to launch my hot string like that well it did it did produce the actual uh, vertical lines but um, it also launched the hot string so that's how you can adjust the the ending characters for hot strings in case you want to you know remove some or add a um, custom one now let me remove that all right next up is case sensitivity so by default hot strings are not case sensitive so if I went star sign and colon hello to show me hi there and if i ran the script and typed hello then i get hi there if even if i typed hell the first few letters um as capital letters it's still going to work because this hot string is not case sensitive and in order to put in case sensitivity you just put in a C within the between the first two columns. So if, if I render again, this time if I went hello with the first two letters in capital letters, it's not going to work. Right? Likewise, if I just type in hello on in all small letters, and it's going to work. And likewise, if I say made that a capital letter and render script again and typed out hello not going to work and typed out <clears throat> the first four letters in capital letters is not going to work and only when i type out hello exactly in the way that i specified in the hot string it's going to it's going to work now how you can use this is Let's say, all right. Let's say I'm gonna create three uh, hot strings which use the same input, um, but with different cases. So um, first, I'm gonna create one with, by the way, B T W in all capital letters, and then next one is only the first one in capital letter, and then the next one um, in all small letters. And let's say I want this to say by the way in capital letters and then the next one to say by the way in mostly small letters except for the first one and then the last one to say by the way all in small letters and let me go ahead and complete these hot strings by putting in the columns and C's now um, so this is the way to create hot, normal and simple hot strings and what I'm going to do is instead of creating a direct hot strings like this, I'm going to make them run labels just for demonstration purposes. Um, that would do the same job. 
i.e. they will send the strings as I ask them to um, but it will be dependent on what hot string I have run so in order to do that I'm just going to go ahead and create the label down here but before I do that I'll put in a command that says go sub and my label I'll call my label just my label and so when my hot strings run it's just going to run the label copy that paste it for each of the hot strings and then down here I'm going to go ahead and create my label and I'm going to make it show me what hot string I ran and ironically this is the command to show me what hot string is the hot string that I ran um, i.e. What, what are the characters that are typed out so if I go ahead and run this what it's going to do is if I go by by the way in all capital letters and press enter because I don't have the star sign press enter it's going to show me that which is that one here now using we can use this as a way to distinguish okay before I do that we can use this as a way to distinguish what hot string we just ran so if I went all in all small letters btw and press enter it's going to give me it's going to give me this which represents the third hot string we have down here so we can use this as a way to distinguish what we um the commands that we're going to operate based on the hot string that is run so let's just go I'm just gonna actually what I can do is I don't actually need to create a variable so I'm just gonna go if my hotkey or hot string is uh, so what was it I think it was this oh yeah it's the same as this so if that if my hot string is this don't need the column uh, the last two columns then send by the way in all cap in all capital letters like that and then else if and the argument is going to be the same except for this time I'm going to make it a little smaller and if that's the case then send by the way else which captures the remainder um, which is just really this send by the way in all small letters so if I go ahead and run this script and type out let me go down here type out in all capital letters btw and then press enter it's going to give me by the way in all capital letters and the first letter capital letter and tw it's gonna give me only the b capital capitalized and all small letters and press enter will reproduce by the way in all small letters like that so that is one way you can use case sensitivity in hot strings now i'm starting to notice that my tutorials are getting longer and longer so i'll keep it short and stop it here and in the next video i'm going to cover the rest of the advanced features of hot strings that i was going to cover in this video uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video